The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round bye and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. I love those corners who can not only cover, but don't mind getting a little physical as well. How about the coverage on that play, knocking that pass away? An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Open man has got one. It's complete. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. First down, here's White. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. The Buccaneers sit five and three now on the year. And they coming on a pretty good roll here. Winners of three straight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. From the 45 on second down, Brady. He'll get that out to the flat to right. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 40. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10, right at the 40. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. Complete right side to Otten. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. 33 yards that time. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. Regular, regular. Go bandit. To throw is Brady. And that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it. And it'll be second down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read. And by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Hey, goal 66. Again, it's Brady. This is caught. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Brady now to throw. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Tom Brady with two first quarter touchdown passes. And the Bucs have taken the lead. Extra point up and through. And that makes the score 14-7. to seven. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive. They watch the other side just score, but 
Remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can... Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked by Antoine Winfield, Jr. And the Bucs are going to take over here up near the 30. Well, to me, it's pretty simple, and it's fairly obvious, isn't it? He's got to start making better decisions with the ball. That's now two interceptions in the first quarter. After interception number one, there was a long talk on the sideline. And now he's made another mistake. Yeah, he's just been kind of laying these passes out there. He's kind of been floating them a little bit. He's got to be more decisive in his reads and definitely more decisive in throwing the ball. Rifle it in there every now and then. Four yards remain for second down. Brady gives this to White. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They keep it on the ground, White again. The tackle made by the linebacker, Joe Schobert. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. On second and nine, Brady looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Jones now in motion left. Throwing is Brady on third down. Escaping the pressure right. And the throw there going to be incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. On the return is Williams. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Rams will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before. And Mayfield again with the interception, his third. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late round pick right there, making a first round impact. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense. And he comes up with the interception there. Officially no gain on the play and it's second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Hey, Alabama, Alabama. Throwing on second down, Brady. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. From the gun on third down, Brady. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And his kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. 
So the interception set him up a terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. The Bucs ready for the kickoff, and here we go. It's in the air. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, see that we're having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass, and it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing Mayfield. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. Now the Bucs going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Opportunities as a rookie were limited for Joe Tryon Shoyinka in a deep Tampa defense, but he still picked up four sacks and made six starts in 2021. There should be more to come in 2022 and beyond. And let's see the box with six DB, so a dime set here on third down. Mayfield. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A first down throw for Mayfield. Got a man open. It's Tyler Higby. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Two chump plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Now Mayfield. Open man, Higby, the tight end. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. To throw again on second down. Mayfield. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Here's Mayfield. And able to find Higby, it's complete. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here's Mayfield, eluding the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, 
They can keep them out of that area. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Mayfield down. And he's got it. That's cut for a Ram touchdown. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Rams are back within a score. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it? touchdowns. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Ready to throw on third and one. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Brady going to go on fourth down. Finding Johnson on the out route. That's complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Running out of the gun with White. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do... They go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Brady's throw complete to Otten. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 32-yard line. The Bucks' passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Now Brady. On the left side, a catch by Wayne. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And his kick is indeed good. And that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. 
Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A gain of 28 yards there and give him the first down. No, 66. Hey, 66. Brady. Here's Johnson with a reception. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Meanwhile, Brady's throw on target to Godwin here. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Second down at four. They'll go up the middle with White. And he's brought down. 58 yards rushing for him now as his fine rookie season continues. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. White, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Now this time, Brady will throw. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. I think we've hit that point in the game now where any score you get could be the one that actually wins it. So above all, you want to avoid a turnover that leaves you coming away with nothing. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Brady going to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. One thing you have to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Alone to the right is Jones. He'll go for it. It's Brady. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Deontay Johnson from three yards out. And the Buccaneers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. The Bucs ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side, so now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked in each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Mayfield to throw it. 
Going up top for Cup. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. On third down, Mayfield. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Carlton Davis picks it. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. So after the INT, it's Brady. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, picked off by the linebacker Bobby Wagner. And the Rams will take over here at their own 14-yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter, but that not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. Now a deep ball going to be caught here near midfield. And he's going to get this down near the 25. I don't think there's anyone who could possibly doubt how fast he could run in the open field. But if there were, he silenced those thoughts there. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go long, go get it, big man. Mayfield on first down. And if you're wondering how fast he was going, next-gen stats clocked him at close to 21 miles an hour. From the 17, Mayfield. And now here is another interception. Carlton Davis picks it, and the Buccaneers are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. Well, there's two sides to this coin. I mean, on one side, five interceptions now thrown for him. That's tough, but, man, this defense, they have been ball-hawking and impressive. But, Charles, let's flip it back over. If you're coaching a quarterback that's struggling this much at this stage of the game, do you maybe try to get him out? I would think about it, and I think about it awfully hard, but also... You might want to look into his eyes, see what he has. He might be one of those players that you don't want to affect his confidence by actually pulling him out of the game. So you have to know your player. You have to know the situation. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Back near his goal line. Here's Brady. Oh, the man has got one. It's complete. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. 
Now Brady gets away with one. Lucky could have been intercepted, but it falls to the ground. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play. Back now in Tampa. It's the Bucs. They've got the football. They also are in front here on the scoreboard as we start the fourth. The Bucs on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. Here it's third and two. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Brady looking to throw on third and two. That is caught by Josh Oliver, the former San Jose State Spartan. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. The Bucs passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Despite the lead here in the fourth, they're still taking shots. Not content to sit on this lead at all. To me, it raises the question of what's right in this game nowadays. Do you sit on the ball and run it because you have enough of a lead? Or do you try and extend it because you always feel like the other team can come back? Extend it. Have some fun. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. Throw left side complete. That's Johnson. And he's going to have the Bucks first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Now all through this one, they've had nothing but success throwing the football and in the passing game. Here we are in the fourth quarter, a time you'd think they'd be running the football. They're still tossing it around and having great success. And it appears a whole lot of fun as well. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Throwing again on second down. Brady. This will be caught inside the 10. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Ernest Jones, the linebacker, with a sack. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line? That still definitely hurts. On second and goal. Brady toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. From the gun, it's Brady. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. 
so that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle. A three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. Going up top for Cup. And this one is incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Play fake. Mayfield. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. But we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. And they are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that. And it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. I think the reason. And my goodness, another interception. a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD. Extra point forthcoming. And the lead is now 24. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Mayfield on play action. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Hurry, hurry! Hurry, hurry! Hurry, hurry! Here's Mayfield. And this one right back into the hands of Jefferson. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. A big play there for L.A. 46 yards. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. 
On first and ten, Mayfield. That's out to the flat for Akers. And the Rams are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Now they bring a receiver in motion right. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. And again, it's Mainfield. He's got it. It's Higby. Touchdown, Rams. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Rams get a bit closer. Well, it seemed like they were so focused elsewhere they forgot about the tight end spot, and he's the one that burns them there to make this a three-score game here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. I think there might be a little bit of defensive fatigue from those guys on that side of the ball, partner, because they've been spending their time trying to stop them from all angles. This time, the tight end gets them. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Brady going to throw here. Finding Johnson on the out route. That's complete. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball. And they keep making the connection. They run straight ahead here with White. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. 79 yards rushing for him now as he's done it on 19 carries. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Play action. Now it's Brady. Rush coming, and he's taken down. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Going right side is White. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Cover, cover! Now Brady. And that will be incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. And no return on this one as that kicks out of bounds, so they'll start just outside of their own 30-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence.
See, it's two type of people in life. It's people that wake up and wish they had it. And it's people that wake up and go get it. We go get us, baby. Photo poor, so photogenic. All I know is to go, go get it. Shoot my shot, now nah, I ain't gon' miss it. All I know is to go, go get it. All my life, I've been a go get up. All I know is to go, go get it. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. Go, go get it. Go, go get it. Photo poor, so photogenic. All my life, I've been a go get up. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son. Go, go get it. Top floor, top dog, like I just signed a TDE. Gang, 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 gang. No, we all gotta eat. Up late, bills do, rent do, I ain't been to sleep. Woo. Looking in the mirror, all I see is everything that I wanted to be. Me. My city depended on me. That's on GOD. Grew up watching my mom become what daddy couldn't be. Hot ball like MLB. These Bottega boots ain't cheap. My car ain't got no key. I push the start to start my week. I'm in this photo poor, so photogenic. All I know is the go go get. Why would I ever have to cop a chain of game when the QB chain birth moved the chains in the game? No post office, we stamp a time. Took a slice out of the big apple, made apple pies, family size. Leather bombers and Nike Sakai's dangerous corners, you better pray that tomorrow arrives. Rap, Sugar Ray Robinson, nothing sweet. Y'all too out of shape to even box with me. Heavyweight, I know my way around the ring. Just like Shorty, know a way around the storm. Making hits with his boy, only gotta do is hit record. Record breaking news, had to show up just to fill a void. Confused boy, little boys, y'all better keep your poise. Leave me out of the weasel. Be cool when you see me, I'm hot at all that rap deep. The hood know you, so we don't buy or believe in it. Locked in on the instrumental, I took back the key to this. Uh, run me the keys, run me the bees, run me that float back. The top three, I'm not number one, how could you post that? I want to crown the city is mine, you cannot hold that. I'm not the one to go at. Me, Joe Black. Run me the keys, run me the bees, run me that float back. What I'm saying, the top three, I'm not number one, how could you post that? Uh, I want to crown the city is mine, you cannot hold that. I'm not the one to go at. Me, Joe Black. What I'm saying, people saying what's already been said. Predictions, I don't listen, it's already in my head, no funny. Your most hungry place, I was past that in 28. Underground tapes, as my ass caps and publishing states. As we slide in the G-Ride, I've been getting criticized. It's keeping me energized, create with a business mind. I'm from where killers reside. A wild hood, only new goons since my childhood. Say anything in their raps, cause it sound good. Don't even mean what they say, horrible outlook. Y'all ain't really about this house. Y'all was in the house with it. We don't respect fake jewelry and silly outfits. Window down, blowing out. Great tits, New York's J. Prince on Houston Street. I caught the bounce before my even bounced the beat. I took the hard way in it, man, it's the route for me. Uh, run me the keys, run me the bees, run me that float back. The top three, I'm not number one, how could you post that? I wouldn't crown the city is mine, you cannot hold that. I'm not the one to go at. Meet Joe Black. Run me the keys, run me the bees, run me that float back. The top three, I'm not number one, how could you post that? I wouldn't crown the city is mine, you cannot hold that. I'm not the one to go at. Meet Joe Black, meet Joe Black. Why would I ever have to cop a chain a game when the QB chain burst most of the chains in the game? Why would I? I'm bringing my gang. All of that talking just sound like a show. I'm just letting you know that I'm not entertained. You hear the crowd, they screaming my name. I got the stadium going the same. Done with the talking, it ain't no discussion. You started, I finished. Put me in the game. Put me in the game. Yeah. Put me in the game. All of that talking just sound like a show. I'm just letting you know that I'm not entertained. Hey, coach. Put me in the game. 
put me in, so I'm going in. You play for fun, I'm playing to win. Back on the wall, I'm ready for war. If I beat them before, I could beat them again. They thought I was done, I went on a run and beat all the eyes and got even again. Watch what you say, I'm not one of them. When I jump in my bag, I could jump out the gym. Take a look at my legacy, I gotta let them see. I'm out here winning, cause I'm on a mission. Put me in the game, cause the way I'm feeling, I honestly do not see no competition. I gotta get it, so it ain't no quitting. We jumped off the benches and jumped in the trenches. No one is better than all of us, and that's why all of us been winning from the beginning. It's more than a kid, no play with my name. You come with your goals, I'm bringing my game. All of that talking just sound like a show, I'm just letting you know that I'm not entertained. You hear the crowd, they screaming my name. I got the stadium going the same. Done with the talking, it ain't no discussion. You started, I finished, put me in the game. Put me in the game. Yeah. Put me in the game. All of that talking just sound like a show, I'm just letting you know that I'm not entertained. Hey, coach. Put me in the game. Why they hogging up the recipe? 